A video posted on YouTube that has now gone viral has people talking about fighting back against bullies. An investigation into whether a 15-year-old South Hadley High School student was bullied before she died continues. New developments today in a case of bullying at Carmel High School. The recent spike in school bullying has led to several teen suicides across the nation and right here in Iowa. And these tragic events are grabbing the headlines and the attention of school leaders, parents, and Iowa State University Associate Professor of Psychology, Doug Gentile. Through a new study, Gentile has found six risk factors he believes may help schools target future bullying. What we're interested in is how different risk factors combine to predict which children might uh, become more likely to get involved in physical fight in the coming school year. The six risk factors Gentile found are bias toward hostility, low parental involvement, gender, physical victimization, prior physical fights, and media violence exposure. We know that boys are more likely to get into fights. We know that children uh, whose parents are less involved are more likely to get into fights. We know that if you've previously been involved in fights, your future risk is up. Buddy says some people tend to associate media violence that, directly to bullying. The media violence seems to have gained some sort of special status where some people think it's really important and other people think it's not important at all. What we wanted to show is that in fact it acts just like every other known risk factor. If you consume a lot of it, your risk goes up. If you consume less of it, your risk goes down. And so it acts just like all these other risk factors, it really deserves neither special praise nor condemnation uh, as it regards to risk of aggression. Gentile studied 430 kids ages 7 to 11 in grades 3rd through 5th from five Minnesota schools. He says it's important to note that kids that have one or two of the six risk factors doesn't necessarily mean they'll be a bully in the future. Kids are resilient. They can actually handle a couple of risk factors uh, because we all know children who watch a lot of media violence and are not aggressive. We all know children who've been bullied and are not aggressive. We all know boys who are not aggressive. But once you start putting a bunch of these together, you have a boy who's been bullied, also consumes a lot of media violence, the risk really starts to take off. But once you get to about three or four, and we measured six in this study, uh, once you get out to having all six, actually the risk is very high. 94% of the children who have all six risk factors are likely to be involved in a physical fight in the next school year. Gentile says this new study could be a major tool in the fight against school bullying. Until now we haven't really had a very good way of predicting who's likely to be uh, more physically aggressive. And so if we use these in schools we might be able to profile kids to figure out who the higher risk kids are and target some programming directly towards them that actually may end up having a larger effect. Gentile says that bullying has been a problem in schools for years now. But he says schools have been doing their part in recognizing it and trying to put an end to it. Bullying has been an important issue certainly since the 1990s in the U.S. where uh, schools have really started to do a very good job of paying attention to it, not just assuming boys will be boys and starting to take steps. So I think one of the things that school districts, legislators, uh, parents are all wrestling with is what do we do? Uh, and they all talk to each other but uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of research of this type for them to draw on. And so I think this may bring something new to that conversation.